ABC TV, Sports 4 El Paso presents Minor Basketball. Tonight, live from the Special Events Center, it's the UTEP Miners versus New Mexico State University. The first half of tonight's game is brought to you by Dick Poe Motor Company, Coors Beer, El Paso Federal, Tony Lama, Coca-Cola, the Computer Superstores, and Gilcrest Jewelers. Juden Smith with the steal from Patterson. Watch this play. Showtime. A terrific collision. And I'm afraid that Juden Smith may be hurt. I could see it coming. Juden looks like he's okay. We'll watch on the replay. I think he's going to be okay. Juden goes up. Patterson's going high with him. He goes across the back. He's reaching for the ball, but Juden hits the backboard, and that's really what caused it. The fans don't understand that. They couldn't see it, but it wasn't really Andre Patterson that created that problem. I think it's really... A, we'll see again. Andre's going for the ball. He's doing exactly what Juden hits that backboard. You're right. Now, that's what caused the problem. And I think uh, the people at home now know more about the play than the people in the yeah, arena. I'm sure everybody here in the arena has no idea of what happened there, and they assume that it was a dirty play on the part of Patterson. It was not. It in was fact, not. You can see that some of the uh, rubber protection around the underneath of the uh, plexiglass has been pulled away because of that collision. Well, it's a shame that the fans uh, that are here and everybody else that's here can't really see. There was no way they could have seen what happened. Uh, but unfortunately... They're calling a technical foul, and we do not understand why. Well, I think it's going to relate to what has been perceived as some kind of intentional foul on the part of uh, Patterson or probably something related to that. Maybe we can, we can get an explanation. Let's watch it one more time. See, Patterson is looking at the ball. He's not looking to hit somebody. And Juden gets up so high that when he comes down, he hits the backboard. Well, the officials will sort it out. You see Andre Patterson telling his side of it. I know he's telling the coaching staff of the Aggies, I didn't hit him. Uh, he ran into the backboard if, if he, in fact, knows himself. Well, I'm sure he doesn't. I mean, he's going for the basketball. He's going to block the shot. When you go up like that, when you're a competitor, as both Juden Smith and Andre are, there's going to be contact. But the question is one of, of the purpose of the contact, and that was not intentional at all. Now, the contact did result, I'm sure, in part, in Juden hitting the board as hard as he did. But what caused him to lose his, his balance, that is, he would have normally just come down on his feet. What caused him to lose that balance, as we see Joe Belmont talking to Coach Drew uh, and Coach Barry, uh, discussing the purpose of the technical foul. And we'll try to get an explanation on that. But uh, anyway, the, the, the impetus of Juden charging for the dunk, as well as uh, Andre Patterson working equally hard to try to block that, caused Juden to go into the backboard. And that's what caused him to lose his balance. Maybe we've said enough on that as far as the viewers are concerned. But uh, because of the crowd here, we, we wanted to emphasize in terms of, of the viewing public at least, or maybe they can clarify it with those that come later on to the, uh, you know, after the game tomorrow or something, that that was not an intentional or dirty play at all. Let's try, to, let's try to sort all this out now. Juden Smith will be going to the uh, free throw line to shoot the two shots, the missed shot fouled in the act of shooting. Now we want to, we want to try to figure out what the purpose of the, t uh, of the technical was and what that means. And the bottom line is that Juden Smith will be shooting two free throws. Now, Andre Patterson has gone to the bench, and, and there may be a story in that as well, Bob. I don't know if Coach Drew has simply taken him out 
given the fact of, uh, you know, the crowd and the pressure of the crowd on him. He changed them both. Miners lead 52 to 30, and we'll be back for more of the second. Has been thrown out of the game for a flagrant foul. If we still have that in the truck, we'd like to show the uh, replay again.